In this question, we are asked to complete the table naming a different standard component that is used with each material and stating what that component is used for. We are told that an example has been completed for you. Let's take a look at the example we have been given. So the material area is metal, the standard component is hinge, and its use is to attach the lid to a metal box. Now, if you weren't quite sure when you read this question what a standard component was or is, the example may give you a clue. You can think about a hinge and consider what makes this a standard component. We know that a hinge is a common component that is used on a number of products, in addition to lids such as doors and cupboards. This may jog our memory into remembering that a standard component is a component that is mass produced in standard sizes for use in a variety of products. Often standard components include fastenings, fixings, electrical or mechanical parts, staples, screws, nuts, bolts, washers, zips, resistors, rivets and linkages are just some examples of many. Standard components are always generally widely available. When completing this table, it is essential that you use a different standard component for each material area. You will not be awarded marks for answers which you have listed twice. There are six marks available in total for this question, so you will be awarded one mark per correct answer in each box. Let's start by looking at fabric as the material area. Standard components often used with fabric include zips, buttons, poppers, press studs, velcro, sequins, beads and so many more. However, if textiles isn't your material area, just look at the clothes you are wearing today and use your knowledge of standard components within your specialist material area to provide a considered answer. Here, I'm going to select the standard component of a zip, which is a common component most of you will be familiar with. The function of a zip is to fasten two sides of a garment together. Whether that's your bag or a dress or a pair of trousers, it's bringing two pieces of fabric together. We can move on now to the second row of the table and we can consider timber as the material area. Now again, for some of you, this might not be your specialist area. However, you do need to know some knowledge about all materials for this GCSE. So let's have a think about different standard components we can consider for the material area of timber. Firstly, we could have brackets, we could have screws, nails, we could have draw runners, knock down fixings, or even wood screws themselves. And that is the example that I am going to use here. Once you have decided on your standard component, you are merely writing exactly what it is used for. So wood screws are to attach the sides to a wooden box. Finally, let's move on to paper as a material area. This one, I've chosen clips as a standard component. However, you could have also had other items such as fasteners or bindings or plastic rivets, for example. For clips, I have put that their function is to hold the pages of a document together. And that's it. That's this question completed. We have six boxes, an answer in each box, and the use goes, it links, it connects to the standard component that you have written down, which in turn connects to the material area 
which we were provided within the table. So all in all, that is a great answer that we have here and we should achieve the six full marks for this question.